take a ride with Waymo from Team Pixel. Do you want to become a Waymo ambassador? Wait a minute. The self-driving car Waymo? Oh, I'm there. Let's go. Well, we made it. We are finally in Phoenix, man. That was a long flight. I was sitting next to this dude that, like, he didn't want to give me no space. It was mad irritating. But anyways, like I said, we in Phoenix. Brought the wife with me. That's 24-hour mom. We'll talk more about that later. But I figure since we're finally in the lift and we can sit down and talk, I will give you some updates on why we even here, man, because I haven't really told y'all nothing. Anyways, a company called Waymo, which they're previously owned by Google and now standing on their own feet, but they are still partnered with Google, invited us out to come take a ride in one of their self-driving autonomous cars. You heard that right. Self-driving autonomous cars. From what I hear, they have 10 million miles logged with no accidents and they go live in Phoenix publicly this weekend and we are here for it. So they did pay for us to come down here. They paid for our flights, hotel stays, transportation, all that good stuff. So big thank you to Waymo. We really appreciate the invitation. How I got picked, I don't know, but I'm grateful. But they got a lot of stuff planned for us, events and tours and you know, food and all of that stuff. And I'm sorry my camera's all shaky. It's not on the gimbal right now, but you know, I want way more information <laughs> wait wait all right whatever so i'm gonna bring y'all in on the whole thing and kind of let you know what it's all about and uh talk to you soon all right man so i'm not a big fan of bragging about hotels because you know it's not like we get to stay here forever but i have to show y'all how dope this hotel is We just went to this burger spot and ordered wings. We asked the lady, are the wings hot? She said, no, they not hot. Then she bring us basically Satan on a plate. But anyways, we out here in Phoenix enjoying ourselves again. Big shout out to Waymo for bringing us out here in such style. Event starts in about two hours. So, you know, we gonna go there and meet other people and they got heavy hors d'oeuvres, man. Not just regular hors d'oeuvres, but heavy hors d'oeuvres and we're gonna have all of that so we'll be back in about two hours to show you everything we doing and to keep you involved because you know we family right we family and i want if i'm here then you here too right here kicking it with my man c kid what up it is absolutely beautiful up here doing like a little meet and greet you know those heavy hors d'oeuvres we talked about earlier they up here so you know we're gonna kick it have a little good time yes sir meet some people kiss some babies get some hugs out <laughs> and then uh, tomorrow we got a lot of stuff planned, so we'll be back. What up, y'all? So we are on the shuttle, headed to the Waymo facility to go find out way more about these self-driving cars. So we're about to have some fun. Let's go. All right, we inside the facility. We about to have lunch, though. So how do you feel about riding in the car with no driver? I actually feel great. I think that a lot of the accidents might be because of like human error. I feel like we're heading into the Jetsons. I, I'm not, I don't know what to expect. I'm excited. Um, 
I wouldn't say I'm nervous at all. I just like, I'm stoked about the technology that's coming. I'm excited about it, so hopefully, you know, everything goes good. Mom, I love you. Uh, scared. Pretty scared. Just want to make it home safely to all of our children. People talk about human error a lot, but I feel like technological error is more cause for concern. You could always affect human error, but you can't really affect technical error. Very excited. Uh, not too nervous. I, I think I trust Waymo more than a lot of people I trust driving a car. <laughs> Alright man, we got about 10 minutes before the festivities start. So to be honest, like I really don't know what to expect. Like I'm excited because this is the future, right? Self-driving cars. I just feel like, you know, I trust Waymo, right? I trust what they do, but I, I, I'm curious to see how cars react to like difficult situations, you know, emergencies and all that stuff. Without that human element of reason and logic, like I want to know how the cars are going to respond and how, see that's what I'm talking about. It's stuff like that going off that scares me. But like how do you implement this into our future? You know what I'm saying? And I think it's got challenges. I think um, there's a degree of fear for everybody because there's a, a 6,000 pound van driving down the street with no driver. But I'm excited to see how this works in the future. So I can't wait to hop in one of these cars and test it out and see everything working in real time. I'm gonna bring y'all along the way. So we'll be back. I think we're going for a presentation real quick. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Okay. Our chariot waits. We can start it whenever. Alright man, we are in a way mode getting driven around by a machine right now. So, I'm gonna flip the camera around in a second. There is a driver, but technically she's not a driver. She's not touching the wheel, she's not controlling the steering wheel or the pedals or the blinkers, and there's a car coming right. It stopped. <laughs> there was a car coming and the car started to pull out, but it stopped and it waited for the car to roll by. This is bananas. You would think that this thing drove like a grandma? No, man. Like. When we accelerating, it's going. We pulled up on a truck that was halfway out of its parking spot, and the Waymo stopped, waited, and after about three seconds, made the decision to go around the truck and speed off, man. I am completely blown away. Let me flip this camera around and show y'all some of the technology in here, because it's nuts. You can look at the screen, see the different cars on the road, see the decisions that the car is making in real time. This is the future. Yeah, it shows you exactly what the car is sensing in real time. I've seen a lot of dope stuff, a lot of new tech, but Waymo, this is different. This is everything I imagined as a child, realized, self-driving, autonomous cars. I never thought I would say this, but I watched the cars reason and make decisions that were rational, that I will make myself as a driver and that's crazy but the reality is machines computers 
will always be faster, more accurate, safer than humans. And what impressed me even more, after talking to the staff for hours, a lot of them have lost loved ones due to car accidents. And that's why they're so passionate about this. Our safety, your safety, my safety. And I know I've said this probably five times in this video, but Waymo, thank you for an invitation to come be a part of something that's gonna change our world as we know it. And I'm grateful to be here on the ground floor. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed being a part of this experience. Much love, Terry Warfield.